Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Tuesday to you all. Let us get into the new music for the day, starting off with the four members of Card. They are back with a full release. I believe the album is called The Icky EP and the title track, The Icky. You're going to be checking out 2D. Carter always a good time. We watched the pre-release one that dropped a hot while ago, it feels like. Then again, time's in real, so that might have been like two weeks ago, and I just don't remember. But the full thing is here. And if it's based off of anything like what Carter has done in the past, it's going to be a good time. Lots of, lots of moving, lots of dancing, lots of bopping, lots of good vibes. So here we go. And I'm hoping everything behaves itself today. Because the track record of recording videos this week has not been all that great. But, um, you know, we move. So, here we go. I think we have 4K. We have English subs. Admittedly, I probably won't be paying attention to the subtitles because that's just how my brain works. But, we go regardless. So, here we go. I'ma get down. You can already feel that. It's like kind of classic card energy building in the background. It's just there. Going one to a Jew and so many to open the song is such a power move. High vocals in the low rap. That Latin dance inspired song that Carver is known for. A little outro intro move for the verse. Go to base of Pixin. Swam over, get up with that jig and pay that I got in this mystic. You wanna read it in the line? You got your I get the blue chip, the first one's pocket. This little man, he kind of pill with the hatchet. I get good on the gasping, that's my proud. It'd be a gang there, the jill like. I love that on Jason's verse. You still hear Soman and Jew all kind of like the ad libs doing their respective singing and rapping ad libs. That's such a nice touch. That was an experience. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm pretty fresh into the whole kind of like card music scene in a way. Like I've known about them for a little bit and I know their title tracks a little bit. I still remember finding Red Moon on like a random play dance like all those god three four years ago whenever that dropped. And really enjoying it. And ever since then, it's just been kind of an endless cycle of whenever card music comes out, just, mmm. 
I think Gunshot was like the only one that didn't make me want to go like, because that one gave me like a punch in the sternum every single time the beat dropped. But what I love in how in Icky it is very much playing off of contrasts, and Card have done always done contrasts really well, whether it be like the sudden switch up of energy within the song or the switch up of like sounds and registers within the members performing themselves like having Soman and Ju together I always get those two names and faces mixed up so apologies if I do again but having Soman with their like higher tone offset with Ju's like low rapping tone is such a cool pairing because like with Ju, she kind of just fits into any direction you want her to. Like, she can go for that lower vocal or the middle range vocal to pair with Soman. She can also do the low rap to pair with Soman, but also she can do the low rap to pair with Jaseph and BM as well. Like, she really does sit right in the middle between the rest of the three members, and she just pairs off perfectly with everyone else. And this song is no exception. Just like the way, even out the little ad libs were. I think, was it Jacef's verse? Or is it, there we go. If it'll load. There we go. The first one's pocket. This little man, he kind of pill with the hatch. I get good on the gasping, that's my proud. It'll be a gang there, the jill like. Okay, maybe. No, I don't know their voices well enough to know if all the ad libs there were done by Soman. But I mean, Ju comes in on the next verse, or the, I guess, the next pre chorus. And it's again that whole kind of contrasting thing where. Going from a male rapper to a female rapper. It's the natural tone of a male voice and a female voice is going to contrast each other. But during Jason's verse proper, you have someone coming in on like the vocal ad libs and or like kind of jumping in in the middle to like break apart the flow a little bit. And it's that type of contrasting that always has me intrigued by Card's music. They, they always keep the song fresh, even though like maybe the general sound might be similar, but that kind of Latin dance hall type music, which is such a vibe. But they always manage to, even with you know a small group like four members is not a lot, and there are there's only a limited number of combinations you can make with four members. But they always keep it fresh with the way they just constantly keep switching the sound back and forth. And I've always found that really intriguing and really impressive. It's a vibe. It's a vibe faux show. I know there's an album that goes with this and I want to check it out. Problem is, I don't have the time today. And I don't have the time tomorrow either because tomorrow is Dreamcatcher Day. I think what, tomorrow's secret number in Dreamcatcher? I, I'm th I think there's some time later in the week where I may have time to go through that one because I do want to get into this group a little bit more. And I do want to check out this album just because this being like my first era to actually like, I guess, properly follow the group if that makes sense or at least follow it in a manner where I'm actually paying attention to their music and like the members contributions and things like that. I do want to learn about this group so I do want to get into the album. I just need to figure out when I'm going to do that. But that is something I want to do, so keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in that. But that is it from me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. This was a vibe. This was a fun time indeed. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be you know checking with your friends and family... Holding the door open for a stranger, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, 
and I'll see you next time.